Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I will be showing you how to print the numbers from n to 1 that is in reverse order by using recursive function in C++. So I'm going to do this program in C++ and if you're coming from any other programming background like Java, Python or C, you can just watch this video because the core logic is going to remain the same. So let's get started. So first we need to get a number that is a starting number which you need to traverse to the reverse order. So let me my starting number be let n be my starting number. So record be the name of my function and let me just pass n over here and let me just put n equal to 5 okay i am assigning manually you can just get the number as i input from the user that's absolutely fine so let me first implement by record function okay so our function is going to be of the type void because we are not going to return anything we're just going to print the numbers directly inside the recursive function itself so record so int n so i'll be getting the number let int n o be my number okay inside the function so first thing what we're going to do is we are just going to print the number and we are going to just decrement the number because we are we need to go from the reverse order right it's from n to 1 so let me just print the number and after that i will write the base case okay see out number and it will just put a space over here and as i told you we are just going to decrement the number after each function call so it's going to be recur number minus 1 that's it so this is going to be a condition where we print the number and we, once we will just pass the number minus one it will go over here again print it and number minus one so for example we are having five over here right so five will go inside this function five will be printed then recur of four because five minus one is four four will go inside it four printed then four minus one three our number will be three three printed then two one okay that's fine so now we need to have the base condition okay base condition or the terminating condition so the point at which our regression is going to stop so for that here we are going to print the numbers from till 1 right from it's still n n till 1 so if the number reaches 0 we need to just stop the function so that's my that's going to be my base condition or the terminating condition if our number is equal to 0 i'm just going to put return that's it we're not returning anything we're just putting return plain return which means that our function is going to stop so this is like really simple so let me just go to the whiteboard if you can't understand this code over here so we have passed the number 5 okay so what happens is that 5 will be pushed inside this one okay pushed inside the stack okay function calls are just pushed inside a stack so first thing is recur of 5 okay so doing the recursion of 5 what happens is that 5 just go inside it 5 is not equal to 0 so it's just see out 5 so let me this be my output okay just general output so 5 gets printed but our function record of 5 is still inside the stack it goes then and what happens next is that record of number minus 1 so it's 5 minus 1 so it's going to be record of 4 okay so 4 it's again called record function record of 4 is called now so our number is now 4 so 4 is not equal to 0 so it goes over here see out number so C out number means our output will be 5, 4, okay. Or let me just write over here itself. Let me have common output, 5, 4. This is doing the recursion of 4. So next thing, same process is going to be recur of 3. And 3 is not equal to 0. So it's 3 will be added. Then recur of 2 and recur of 1. So 2, 1 will be added. And next comes over here. So recur of number minus 1. So 1 minus 1 will be 0. So number will be finally 0. So if a number equal to 0, return. This 0 won't be printed, okay. And 0 minus 1 won't be passed. It won't be 0 minus 1, that and all. It will just stop over here when the number is equal to 0. So we're just putting return over here. So what will happen is that. And we'll be having recursion of 0, okay. So what will happen is that 0 will just pass a recent return, okay. It's a void type, so just go over here, go back, go back, go back, and once all the all the functions will be just removed from our stack, and we'll be getting this as our output. Hope that made sense. So let me just run this code, okay? Just run it now. Simple. I'm getting five four three two one. That's absolutely fine. So I hope you have found this video useful, and I also done many other programming videos in C, C plus plus, Java, Python, SQL, and even in three D animation, which is Blender. So do check out videos of my channel. Subscribe and support me. Thanks for watching.